Hey, gang, it's me, Dr. Steve. Uh, question for you. How do members of Congress regularly outperform regular average investors in the stock market every single time? Well, I think you know the answer. <laughs> they cheat. <laughs> At least that's what my guest today says. My good friend, insider trading expert and sponsor Ross Givens is here to reveal the latest stock market scandal coming out of D.C. Ross, thanks for joining us, man. Hey, Dr. Steve, always a pleasure to talk to you. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, it's always a pleasure to talk to you, but I always get my you get my blood boiling every single mm. time uh, y you and I talk a lot about insider trading by politicians and other insiders. As far as I know, you are the leading expert on the topic. But more importantly, and this is the part that I love, you don't just complain about it. You don't just sit back and wring your hands. You actually show people how to piggyback on these trades to make money for themselves. And I know some yeah. of our viewers, myself included, we get our our stock picks that you, that you text out to us. And a lot of them have delivered big gains. In fact, you're hosting a free online training event this Thursday, May 23rd at three o'clock Eastern time. And you're going to show people how to do it themselves. Just click on the link below to register gang. You're going to love it. But you texted me the other day about a stock trade made by representative Michael McCall. And this to me is such a blatant example of insider trading. I, I mean, I can't even believe this is legal. Can you, can you talk us through what happened here? Right. Well, I agree with you. Um, you know, most people are by now are familiar with this TikTok ban, uh, and that ban was written by the guy you mentioned, uh, Congressman Michael McCall. Now McCall, he's the chairman of the foreign affairs committee. He's called TikTok a quote spy balloon in America's phones. Now I don't use TikTok. Is he right? I don't know. I mean, he's the chief you know, she chairs the Foreign Affairs Committee. So for argument's sake, let's just say that it's true. It really doesn't matter. But what he does, he drafted this new law that would ban anyone from using the app in America. But here's where it gets interesting. Once he introduced the bill, he immediately starts buying Meta stock. So he signs the bill on March 3rd. By March 5th, he'd already bought up $500,000 worth of Meta. Puts all the stock in his wife's name, mind you. Then goes out and buys another hundred thousand, another hundred thousand, another hundred thousand, just buying this stock up hand over fist right after the bill gets signed. And just and just to clarify, I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, this Meta is the parent company of Facebook, of Instagram, right? Which, right. which is TikTok's biggest competitor. So, so if TikTok gets banned, all that traffic, at least theoretically, is gonna flood to these other platforms, which means more users, more ad revenue, and I'm assuming a higher stock price. Exactly. Yeah. Now, here's the thing, Dr. Steve. This guy didn't stop there. Now, as you know, Republicans pulled a nice little trick to make sure that bill would pass, and they attached it uh, to the aid package for Ukraine and Israel. So basically, in order to get that 95, the next $95 billion that's going to line the pockets of their friends and donors and uh, the military industrial complex, they also had to vote yes on the TikTok ban. So McCall knew that was going to pass. The ban's pretty much a sure thing at this point. So what do you think he did next? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> buy more stock, right? Exactly. Yeah. He bought more. So once his thing's attached, he buys another several hundred thousand dollars worth. This time he puts it in his kid's name. So all told McCall's got, uh, he's bought up more than a million dollars in meta stock right at the time of this TikTok ban that he wrote and made sure it would pass. I, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, to me, it's just mind blowing because like I said earlier, it just it just seems like such an obvious, blatant, explicit violation. Oh, I agree. It, but no one seems to care. You know, look, mm -hmm. McCall was elected to Congress. I looked him up. He's elected to Congress in 2004. Now, he was not a poor guy, but at the time he was worth $12 million. All right. Eight years later, his net worth was reported at $294 million. <laughs> So, so, so he went, so from 12 million, which is impressive to sure. now 294 million in under 10 years. Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. First two terms. 
and, and, and not a congressional salary, obviously. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't play that well. So here's my question. I mean, yeah. he's not a Democrat. He's a Republican. Why isn't this in the news? Why isn't CNN talking about this and MSNBC talking about this? I know that. I mean, they're mouthpieces for the left. This this would be perfect to roast a Republican, wouldn't it? Yeah, but they're all the thing. The reason you don't see it is they're all doing it right. They mm. may hear this, get giddy, and their friends go, "And eh, let's keep that one quiet," because Republicans and Democrats are doing the same thing. If right. they expose McCall, they have to expose everybody. Right. And this kind of insider trading is super, super common in Congress. And that's one of the reasons I host these free training sessions, like right. the one I'm doing uh, for your viewers this Wednesday, is to show people this gaping opportunity to show them how to use this information to make money for themselves. And I'll just give you a couple of quick examples. We may have talked about some of these in the past, but I'll remind your viewers, Representative Sidney Axney was trading Wells Fargo stock while sitting on the Financial Services Committee that was in charge of investigating Wells Fargo <laughs> over the fake account scandal. Representative Blumenauer bought defense stocks the very day Russia invaded Ukraine. Catherine Clark, she bought a little stock called Hollow Logic back in 2020, but the timing was uh, interesting because she bought it one week before the company was awarded a $119 million COVID-19 wow. testing contract. Dr. Steve, this woman is literally on the committee that awarded that funding. Yeah. Now, those are Democrats, but Republicans doing it too. Rick Allen made trades in Merck and Johnson & Johnson while sitting on a subcommittee considering prescription drug price legislation. Pat Fallon, this one's wild. This guy buys Microsoft stock right before the government announced a $10 billion cloud computing contract with the Pentagon. Then he sells the stock right before the government cancels oh, the contract. Yeah. Oh my. I mean, it's it's so blatant. I don't even need to go down the Nancy Pelosi road. We've been there too many times. But yeah, yeah. look, <laughs> you know, Congress cares about one thing and one thing only, and that's themselves. And with the exception of probably Trump, uh, politicians almost always leave office far wealthier than when they came in. I mean, True. the Clintons were broke when Bill got elected president. And now what are they worth? A quarter, quarter billion? Yeah. Or something? Yeah. You know, so so DC hasn't changed. It's not going to change. It's a revolving door of lobbyists, politicians, and special interests robbing the taxpayer to enrich themselves. Well, I mean, obviously that foregrounds the question. I mean, what's it going to take to to stop this? I, I know there have been a number of bills in the past to ban members of Congress from owning stocks. Uh, do you do you think any of those will ever pass? No. No way. <laughs> but, but, well, that's the thing about being a lawmaker, right? You're the yeah. one writing the law. Right. You're right. not going to pass anything that takes away your ability to make millions of dollars. Yeah. Mean, the only silver lining to all of this is that they do have to report those trades publicly. And if you know where to look, and that's what I'm showing people on Wednesday and I show people all the time, if you know where to look, you can see the exact same stocks congressmen and other insiders are buying right, right. now their personal accounts, and all you've got to do is just piggyback their trade. So, uh, you know, I mean, I've been alerting members of these since 2017. Uh, right. We've never had a losing year. Right. You know, our track portfolio has a compound of return of over 1,900% in the last wow. six years. Yeah. Not because I'm a genius. I'm just following these people's trades. <laughs> if they're going to do it, Cadex, the stock I share with you in January, if you remember that, that little biotech with all the yeah. insiders buying, yeah. Dr. Steve, it's up 360% yeah, it's in the last four months. So wow. I just think if you're not following these trades, if you're not buying the same stocks, you're missing out uh, on some huge profits. Yeah, well, I'm 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 punching myself on this one. I, I've been watching the CADEX as well. And I, I remember getting the uh the the alert uh to buy it, and I did not. I failed to. I didn't what take the action. That was that was the free you that's part of your free recommendations that you give to everyone who registers for these live training events. Right. That This is a, the your I think you have another one that you're giving out as well. Yeah, we do that. One of the things we do just just so people come in and, and get an idea of what this looks like, the caliber of our research, what's out there. When we do these live training events, we usually do one like once a month. So it's right. good timing. I'm talking to you now. Um, so this Wednesday one. Yeah. Everyone who registers, we're going to immediately give you. All the research on our latest pick um, goes right to your email, so you'll get that immediately. I mean, that to me, that's that's worth the gold right there. So, gang, just make sure to register for it. Just click on the link below, 
And even if you can't attend the free training event, you're still going to get research on Ross's newest insider stock that I missed out on. So you mm. mentioned CADEX a minute ago. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys, uh, you bought that one because corporate insiders were buying it, right? Are, are, are you going to be covering that on? Uh, yeah. Is, I, when, is it Thursday or is it Wednesday? It's thir I might have said Wednesday. I'm sorry. It is Thursday. Yeah, there you uh, go. That's Thursday at three. I get caught. I got I have two two kids under five, Dr. Steve. I don't know what day it is <laughs> two, half the time. Two, little, two wee ones <laughs> that keep you up at night. That's all right. Yeah, but that is a distinction, right? So when I say insider, it's kind of a blanket term. Um, obviously, politicians are one big source of these. but uh, and, and we'll cover this you know, uh, on, on Thursday, but it's not limited to politicians. You know, We can also see the trades of these corporate executives. Yeah. So CEOs, yeah. CFOs, like with CADEX, like you said, it's a biotech company in the middle of stage two drug trials. Okay. Then suddenly the chief financial officer starts buying the stock out of nowhere. A couple members of the board start buying too. Then the chief medical officer, the guy running those drug trials, invests like half his annual salary in the stock. So wow. you don't need a crystal ball to kind of figure <laughs> out these drug trials are probably going pretty well. When the guy running them is buying the stock hand over fist. So it's really that simple. People just don't know where to find this information. So, uh, you know, in that case, shocker, they were going well. Stock quadruples in four months. But that's what we're going to show people uh, this Thursday, 3 o'clock, May 23rd, 3 o'clock Eastern. Um, it, it's a live event. It's totally free. It's online. So I uh, hope as many of your viewers come as can. Yeah, gang. Uh, Ross's events fill up so fast trust me uh you want do not wait click on the link below sign up this is gonna this is going to be a life changer um anyone can come right you don't have to be uh an investing expert or financial expert i mean you 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 boil this stuff down to layman's terms right yeah anyone can come and and, and honestly most of the people that, that that we work with that follow our trades and get this stuff most of them have never invested in stocks before I mean, right. they have very limited experience, so it's not right. difficult. Um, we're going to break it all down. The only catch is, as you know, that streaming software, that go-to webinar software we use, does limit us to a thousand attendees. Thousand, and yep. Yep. Uh, you get so popular, what do you got? A million and a half subscribers, something crazy right now. Uh, so we 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 do usually fill those up. We filled them up in the past. So I encourage people to register early. I'll be sure they get a spot. But look, there's nothing to it. Name, email. You want to put your cell number in? We'll shoot you a text reminder. Uh, right before we get started and we're going to send over all the details the full research and our latest pick uh my gift to you just to show you what's out there hopefully you make some money on it uh and then join us on thursday at three absolutely it's great and i'll be there too gang so just uh click on the link below sign up uh may 23rd 3 p.m eastern ross i gotta tell you man you shed so much light on this this incredibly widespread issue among politicians but again what i love that you do is you don't just wring your hands and so forth. You actually show everyday patriots like our Turley Talks listeners how they too can piggyback on this and profit from these trades. So gang, you'd not want to miss this chance to hear Ross's expertise in how to identify and capitalize on these amazing opportunities. Click on that link below, register for the free live training event. I'll be there as well. It's Thursday, May 23rd at 3 p.m. Eastern. Secure a spot before they fill up. They fill up fast and help skyrocket your portfolio's returns and build that financial legacy for you and for your family. Ross, thanks so much, man. I'll see you on Thursday. All right, Dr. Steve. Always good to see you. Always great seeing you.